Good morning, traders, fellow privateers. Welcome to the North American wrap, the Asia preview for uh, for Wednesday, the 14th of March. Take a look here at the chart. This is a uh, this was a trend line break that a lot of the, the market was focusing on here in cable. Uh, broke above this 139, 25.30 level. Pretty clean break. Uh, looks constructive. <clears throat> Sterling yen, kind of a similar, uh, you know, big big pops in sterling yen here up to almost one, almost up, got up to 149.50. Um, retesting this old trend line. Um, dollar yen was the most interesting chart, I think, from the European mid, kind of uh, early European hours pop over to the hourly you can see um, you know lot yesterday during the Asian session dollar yen was under pressure it went down it closed kind of right on the hundred hour we were short a little bit couldn't get much going it put in this little bottom it stopped at one one oh six twenty five um, I think the market they're talking they're calling it ab exit as in Abe exiting uh, the headline in the uh, Nikkei newspaper that just came out is Abe, uh, Abe exit fears send chill through the Tokyo stock market and the Nikkei came under some pressure as well. Um, but here's dollar yen. We did have this bounce, like a hundred point bounce. When By the time I got in this morning for the New York Open, we were up here at 107.25. And, uh, you know, I asked all my contacts in the market. No one had any idea what this move was about. There was a big buyer supposedly around in the 10660 area um, went up had a big you know doji hour here and then a big outside reversal hour after CPI uh, US CPI came in uh, in line with expectations 0.2 for the core and 0.2 for the headline year on year was as expected dollar then started selling off throughout the day and uh, again we closed you know just slightly higher on the day with a close Right on one, right around. Uh, I think it was 106.55. You know, it was a close here, and you can see we've we've sold off 10 points. VIX was up a bit. The stocks started out the day looking pretty good. Um, you know, with the with the inline CPI numbers, everything was fine and dandy. Take a look at the daily chart. Not looking so hot. Big outside reversal day lower, taking out. Previous day's lows of 27.80, closed just off the lows. You know, that, that is not a very constructive candle. Um, take a look at the tech-heavy Nasdaq. If I can get there, same thing. New highs and big outside reversal or bearish engulfing. If you want to speak Eastern or Western um, technicals, uh, Nikkei. This is the CME futures. Pretty ugly day. Not constructive. I suspect there'll be some decent selling in uh, Nikkei and uh, and in China and Asia Asia forces um, today. So we're watching this dollar yen level in particular. You know, euro. The, the dollar index was down about you know 0.3 percent. So pretty much all the dollars were under pressure. Euro dollar constructive closed up here at 123.90. We're watching these old highs here as a break trade 124.50. Nothing much going there. Economic data is light. We do have some Swedish data coming out. Uh, Swedish CPI. Um, Draghi speaking right on the European Open. And uh, in the U.S., we have retail sales. So not, uh, not much on the economic calendar. Uh, I'll leave you with that. Keep an eye on dollar yen tonight. This is trading heavy again, but it was really heavy and I thought it was going lower last night only to rally 100 points but we'll be watching this area in here this uh, 200 hour and these lows of 106.25 so 2025 is support looking to resell it up in you know this 70 70 to 80 area uh, good luck trading and uh, you'll hear from us on the European Open all the best cheers